Hello everybody, welcome to the video on situational interview questions and answers for market research analysts from Career Right. In today's competitive job market, it's not just what you know that is important, but how you actually apply your knowledge that makes the real difference. And that's exactly where the situational interview questions come into the picture. They assess your ability to think on your feet, analyze real world scenarios, and provide thoughtful solutions to the problems. Definitely a very important variety of questions you can't afford to ignore because ignoring to prepare for such questions means setting yourself up for failure. So let's begin with these questions and today rather than giving you the sample answers, I'll try to give you an approach to think about such situations and develop your own answers so that you can do it for any situational questions that you may face. Ready? Fantastic. Let's begin. Question number one, a popular retail brand notices a continuous decline in sales and suspects the reason of these declining sales to be the changing consumer behavior. How would you as their market research analyst go about investigating this? Now see, in this type of a situation, it's important to analyze both the quantitative and the qualitative data to get a holistic understanding of the situation. The client's belief of changing consumer behavior is just a hypothesis at the moment that needs to be tested. But before you begin any work on this, the most important thing to do is clarify the objective. Have a meeting with the stakeholders and get a clear understanding of the objective of the research and its scope. Get a clear picture of things like, is it only a particular product that is affected or is it a category? Since when have the sales been declining? Did any major events take place before or during the period? How are competitors' products doing? Etc. All these things help you in getting a starting point and they also save you time, energy and resources. Now, based on this understanding, propose the research design. Now, you remember we just discussed a while back how this project can benefit from quantitative and qualitative analysis of data, both done together. So during the interview, it is important to discuss how would you carry out your quantitative analysis? Which statistical methods do you think would help? What type of data do you think you would need to gather? How would you go about gathering that data, etc. Also talk about the importance of demographics, buying behavior, perception of the brand, etc. in this case. So that the interviews know how to think about this situation. Similarly, talk about the qualitative data as well. For example, the factors that motivate the consumers to buy this product, their sentiments, what has changed recently, etc. And now, once you know the type of data you would require, next would come the data collection. So, how do you go about collecting that data? That is what you are going to discuss with the interviewer. So tell them how quantitative data can be collected from the historical sales data, customer records, etc. You may also want to collect some social media insights or the data about the recent campaigns. Tell them about that also. Similarly, also tell them how qualitative data can be collected through social listening, interviews, feedback, etc. Some more important factors to consider here are the industry data and the competitor data. Any data about the substitute products also is important so that you can see how is the market of this particular product affected as a whole. See, thinking and talking about things so much in detail immediately tells the interviewer about your detailed approach, right? Your I to details. That's why it is important to think so much in detail and also explain so much in detail. Now, once you have all this data in place, would come the data analysis stage. The quantitative data will have to go through its process of cleaning, integration, statistical analysis, while the qualitative data would need to be analyzed for repeating patterns, sentiment analysis, etc. And it is this integration of the two analysis that would help you understand what's actually happening. And now would come the stage of hypothesis testing. See, the client might hypothesize that the shifting consumer behavior is the reason for a fall in sales. But there's also a possibility that a particular sales campaign was not taken well by the consumers 
or there's a substitute product available in the market which is attracting the consumers more etc your analysis will prove your hypothesis either true or false and it is based on this analysis you would develop your recommendations and make a presentation to the stakeholders for that you would prepare a comprehensive presentation that highlights the key insights data driven conclusions and the proposed strategies for the brand's consideration so you see there are two important things that your answer should convey to the interviewers here the first thing is how do you think about such situations and number 2 how would you go about executing your plan because this is exactly what the interviewers want to know from you by asking such questions more than being interested in your answer itself they are interested in your approach so discuss your approach while answering such questions great let's move on to situation number 2 now a popular snacking product recently received a lot of criticism on social media due to the use of certain ingredients this led to a major pr crisis now you as a market research analyst are required to use social media monitoring and sentiment analysis to assess the situation identify the key issues and provide recommendations for a crisis management plan what would be your approach to deal with such a case now see this question goes a step further in the sense that the previous question we discussed just try to check how would you go about conducting the research while this question is also trying to understand your thought process on how would you go about providing the recommendations to deal with such a case in such cases your experience and common sense both count because there is a very high possibility of you facing a new case every time so try to use your logical brain and suggest a strategic and systematic course of action now see what the interviewers are actually trying to see in your answer is your approach towards things like how do you go about assessing the situation and defining your objectives for example do you go about finding things like what is the ingredient that is being criticized its effects etc then would you limit yourself to the negative comments and mentions on social media only or would you go a step further and check the releases in the newspaper or the magazines to ascertain the extent of crisis then what is it that you want to achieve through this analysis do you just want to contain the negative comments or start rebuilding the uh, customer's trust also all of this is important because it is ultimately your objective as i said in the previous question also which would help you decide your future course of action and the depth to which you would need to conduct your study all of this has to be of course done in conjunction with the management and the stakeholders but what the interviewers are actually interested in is do you think about all these things or not now see since we are talking about social media crisis here so based on this understanding you would start monitoring the comments mentions reviews on social media they would help you in sentiment analysis the social media insights you collect help you quantify the impact that is how bad the crisis is so this is something that you must talk about during the interview the next thing that you would do is developing a crisis management plan and while developing your crisis management plan you have to know that this includes your content creation and communication strategy also you have to think about things like should you revert to the negative comments individually should you release public statements or press releases should you create a trust building advertising campaign should you open any health experts or social media influencers to deal with this how do you deal with the regulatory bodies etc basically what should be your immediate response to address the concerns raised by social media users a rapid response because here can prevent the crisis from escalating further if i am an interviewer and someone tells me all these things let me tell you honestly i would definitely be impressed with the way they are thinking on their feet and if i were this research analyst the next thing i would think is what is the best way to connect with my consumers and other stakeholders for example should i use my social media platforms or my official website newsletters or should i post on my community tab what should i do and once i have all of this plan in place i would also think about how should i monitor the effect of my actions should my actions lead to fallen negative comments increasing acceptance what is it that i would treat as a 
good result for myself because the better understanding of what a good result for you is the better you'll be able to manage the whole thing for example in such a scenario even a shift from negative sentiments to neutral sentiments may be considered an achievement see for such questions it is important to delve deeper into the whole situation and think step by step but this whole thing requires a lot of logical thinking and understanding of the workflow which comes with preparation and experience now just imagine if you had to face this question directly at the interview all of these things might not occur to you on the spot even as an experienced candidate and that is why preparation is so important thinking in advance is so important okay now i'm giving you three practice questions try to think about them and develop your own approach to answer them during the interview see it's not that these questions will be asked as it is during the interview but they'll definitely help you understand what to expect and if you face these questions or other such questions how to approach answering them i sincerely hope you find these questions useful if you found today's video useful do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends too for more such videos that can help you in cracking your next job interview subscribe to the channel now i'll see you very soon with a new video till then bye bye and take care